Hey everybody, Brian here. And Rachel. And we are here from GouletPens.com. And there has been one brand that people have been asking us to carry for years. It took us a little while to work out the details, but we are so excited to announce that we are authorized Sailor retailers. Sailor is a reputable Japanese pen manufacturer that was established over a century ago by Kyogoro Sakata in 1911. It was established in his home city of Kure, Hiroshima, which was a big naval port at the time. And fountain pens were a relatively new invention, and he had a vision for offering a pen like this to the sailors in his city. Their primary focus is on gold nib resin fountain pens that are classic in their styling. Sailor, like many Japanese companies, are known for their high quality control and their consistency. There are a lot of different colors in their fountain pen lineup, as well as a very extensive ink line. So there's a lot to get excited about for any fountain pen enthusiast. There are essentially two models within the Sailor lineup. There is the 1911 and the Pro Gear, which is short for professional gear. They're very similar in their feel in the hand. The primary difference is the 1911 has a rounded top. It's more of a cigar shape. And the Pro Gear has a flat top. They're all screw cap threads that push to post on the back, and they use Sailor proprietary cartridge converters as the filling mechanism. There are three sizes for each model. So let's start with the 1911. We'll start with the 1911S. Now the S is short for standard, so it's the 1911 standard, and this is the smallest in the line. It comes with a 14 karat gold nib, um, and it is definitely better for smaller hands. It fits my hand well. I don't think I would like to write with it unposted. It might be a little small for me, but if you have very small hands, this would definitely be the pen for you. How does that feel for you? Well, I've got bigger hands and when it's posted, yeah, the length and everything is just fine. Again, unposted, it's a bit small for me. It kind of doesn't even <laughs> get into the, the nook of my uh, thumb hand. or whatever that is, hand. <laughs> Um, the, the diameter too is a little thin, you know, for my taste, but uh, I think a lot of people would find this to be pretty comfortable. And this is available in a huge range of colors. Um, you can see some of them here as well. A lot of North American exclusives. Next up is the 1911L, which stands for large. This is the midsize of the 1911 and one of the more popular models within the U.S. This is also comfortable in my hand. Um, gets a little on the large side. I think I could write with this unposted and be comfortable. Posted gets a little big for me. Yeah, this one starts to get more in a comfortable range for me, mm -hmm. right? Like I, this is more the pen that I would want to have with my size hand. Uh, but the nice thing about this though, it's, it's resin, so it's still actually fairly light. So it's comfortable to write for long writing sessions, even I think if you have smaller hands. And this is where Sailor's 21 karat gold nib comes in. So the smaller version has the 14 karat, mm -hmm. this has a 21 karat. This is also available in a huge range of colors. And then we have my personal favorite, the 1911 King of Pens. This is the biggest of the group. Uh, and for somebody with hands like mine, this pen feels just about perfect. It's got a little more weight to it. The nib is gonna be larger than all the other ones. And it's got that 21 karat nib as well, which is gonna have a little bit of spring to it when you write. Now, Rachel, how does this one feel for you? It's a bit much. <laughs> Yeah, it it's is. A, it's a bit heavy. <laughs> um, unposted, it, it is comfortable. I mean, I would get very excited about writing with this nib. Yeah. 21 karat is unique to Sailor. It is indeed. So this, it's a lot. It is the king. Much, much is, like me, you could say it's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> it is the king of pens for a reason. This is available in a smaller range of colors, but you still have a good selection available. Now switching over to the Pro Gear, also available in three different sizes, but the names are slightly different. We'll start with the Pro Gear Slim. This is the smallest of the Pro Gear line. Again, these are gonna feel very similar in the hand to the comparable 1911. This is a great size for me, 14 karat nib as well. How's that feel for you? 
this feels, well, it feels exactly like the 1911S <laughs> because uh, it's basically the same body, same dimensions and everything, just same nib. It's pretty much just the center band and the um, flat tops that so, make this different. And it does have the Sailor logo in the cap. Yeah, so it's got some little different aesthetic uh, embellishments, but the writing and the feel in the hand and everything is going to be exactly the same. Now, this model is commonly used for several of Sailor's special edition series. Now, mm. a special edition for Sailor is really a special collection. They're regularly available, but kind of a theme series. So the Four Seasons from several years back, the Japanese fairy tale, uh, some of like the Blue Dwarf and the, the different planet and cosmic series are often made in the Pro Gear Slim model. And also you may have seen from a while back, uh, it referred to as the Sapporo in Japan. And you see Sapporo and Pro Gear Slim, that's the exact same pen. Next up we have the Pro Gear, and it's just the Pro Gear, might be called the Pro Gear Standard, but this is, again, the mid-size line of the Pro Gear. Similar feel as the 1911, has the 21 karat nib, so it's a little bit larger than that 14 karat. Again, feels good in my hand. I could go, honestly, either way between the slim and the standard. I think the reason that these mid-size pens are generally the more popular ones is because, again, like you and I, universal. it's more universal. It kind of draws that line, yeah. and it. I will admit, for somebody like myself, this gets really confusing with the naming, because this is called the standard mm -hmm. sometimes, but the standard in the 1911 is, is the, the smaller small one. one. Yeah. So it gets a little confusing, but that's why we're shooting this video. And finally, we have the Pro Gear King of Pens, which is the largest of the Pro Gear line. I know you're very excited I really want to hold this pen right now, this. yeah. The larger 21 karat <laughs> nib. Mm-hmm. It's the same nib it as is, what you see on the 1911 King of Pens. Again, quite large in my hands. I could write with it, but it, it feels a little large for me. And the color options on this one is just way more limited. Very limited. I think when people are thinking King of Pens, they automatically kind of refer to the 1911. Mm -hmm. But there is a King of Pens size in the Pro Gear as well. Uh, same size, dimensions, and all that kind of stuff. It's really just those same aesthetic differences you have on the smaller models. Um, that you see here. And one quick little caveat, sometimes it's referred to as king of pen, sometimes it's king of pens. You may see that interchangeably online. There are a couple of versions of the Pro Gear, um, I did want to point out, that have clear end caps. Mm. I think I like that's that. pretty cool. I dig that. So check out our website for all the current color selections. Like I mentioned before, there are regular editions, there are North American exclusives, Sailor makes a lot of retailer exclusives, regional exclusives, so the offerings may vary from store to store, mm -hmm. but check out gulepens.com for all of our current offerings. There are seven different standard nib sizes within Sailor's lineup, and these are all made by Sailor in-house in Japan. That's something you don't always see from a pen manufacturer, and Sailor has a reputation for some of the highest consistency and quality control for their nibs in the pen world. All seven of these standard nib sizes are available in the smaller 14 karat nib as well as the mid-size 21 karat nib. The seven nib sizes are extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium, broad, music, and zoom. So these are Japanese nibs, and for those of you that are you know, more knowledgeable of, of nibs and where they come from, Japanese nibs tend to be ground a little finer, especially in the extra fine fine and, and those lower nib sizes, uh, than maybe nibs that come from parts of Europe like Germany. These 14 karat nibs that you have on the smaller size pens, they're going to be relatively stiff, not a whole lot of bounce, even though they're gold nibs. And there is a little bit of feedback to them. To me, it kind of feels like if you have maybe like a soft lead graphite pencil. They're not super glassy smooth, so you do get to feel a little bit of that grab on the page. When you go to the 21 karat nibs in those mid-size pens, you start to get a little bit more spring. Mm -hmm. The flow is a little bit more, and you start to get kind of that really smooth, bouncy feel that I personally love. I was like, really I'm getting love. excited. I'm, I'm picturing like a 21 <laughs> karat broad in my collection. Ooh. Mm, it's going to be good, yeah. These aren't like the, the juiciest, wettest flowing ones they tend to be a little more conservative in their flow uh, but they're extremely consistent and um, when you get up to the larger size like on the king of pens it's that same 21 karat nib but the nib is even bigger so you get a little bit more spring too so you get kind of a different writing experience 
in terms of the feel on the three different sizes of pens uh, because of this the way the nibs are made. Now the nib sizes I need to explain a little bit because the music and the zoom especially are something sort of unique to Sailor. So the music nib is essentially a stub nib. It's a two-tine. It's a two-tine. So Platinum has a three-tine music nib. This one is a little more of a standard stub nib, um, but it's meant to be held at maybe a little bit more of a vertical angle. So that'll get you more of a thinner cross stroke and a fatter downstroke. The zoom is something that is unique to Sailor, and that has a very unique grind to it so that the higher up you hold your writing angle, the finer line it gives. Mm -hmm. And when you write at a lower angle, it gives you a broader line. So you can shift it as you're writing, or you can just hold it at a different angle depending on the type of paper or ink that you're using to suit your writing style. So someone like me who holds their pens relatively high and likes broad nibs might not be the right fit for me. You should probably go a little broader. Absolutely. So the 14 karat and the mid-size 21 karat nibs are available in all seven standard sizes. In the US, at least, the King of Pens nib is only available in medium and broad. So with all these different options, you end up with 16 total different nibs that you could have, which is why we have done a writing sample for all of them and put them in our nib nook resource on gouletpens.com so you can compare all of them as well as every other nib for every pen we have on our site. Now, Sailor does make some specialty nibs and some available to bespoke retailers mm -hmm. um, or some that are available in other places. So for now, you'll see the 16 on our site, but just acknowledging there are some other specialty nibs out there. And this is mainly because they require so much extra time and expertise, they have to limit the offerings of those. So you may see those elsewhere, but we won't have them for right now. These are all gold nib pens, so they're going to start in the high 100s and kind of go up from there, depending on which model of pen. You can check all current prices as well as the full color availability, nib availability, and all the technical specs. We did detailed weights, measurements, ink capacity. You can find all of that on GooleyPens.com. Now, as exciting as Sailor's pens are, their ink is also something I think you're going to love. We're starting with about 40 different ink colors across five different collections. We'll start with the standard ink line. This is available in a 50 mil glass square bottle and comes in three different basic colors, black, blue, black, and blue. And these are not any extreme properties. They're just gonna be kind of conventional ink that's safe for fountain pens. Next up, we have the pigmented line. This is our three colors that are water resistant. Um, they're very popular among artists and sketchers, people who need that highly water resistant property. Again, you have a black, um, and honestly, two shades of blue-black. I think one is like a deep blue, blue-black, but they're, they're in the same vein. These inks are gonna be really good for if you wanna do any kind of ink washing over top of them, they'll stay in place, or if you're using them on maybe glossier paper or mm -hmm. things where the ink won't absorb as well into the paper, they're gonna dry more on the surface, um, but they will be a little more maintenance in your pen, so make sure you're cleaning them out uh, on a pretty regular basis. Next, we have Sailor's Gentle Series. This comes in a 50 mil round glass bottle. It comes in six colors, um, which some really nice ones in here. Yeah, that's sky know, high. Mm. I know that's one of your favorites. That works for me. The Epinard is really popular too. It's an interesting spinach green color, mm -hmm. but I know, I know you love that sky high. That's my jam. <laughs> The Shikiori collection comes in a 20 mil square glass bottle and comes in 20 different colors. These are all inspired by nature, so they're all named after themes like that. Um, and they have some shading and sheening properties. This is on Tomoe River paper. Um, some of the more popular are the Sutin and the Yamadori. Yamadori. Oh, that sheen. Finally, we have the Sailor Manio collection. This is one of my favorites. It comes in the 50 mil square glass bottle and comes in eight colors. Now this has some of my favorite colors in there because you have some crazy shading properties. You have some sheen, but the way these look on this Tomoe River paper with like the multi-tonal with the haha, -ha, these are beautiful colors. They're all named after flowers featured in Japanese poetry. One cool thing Sailor has done with some of these inks, not all, but some, come with this little set of stickers so you can label your ink converter with what ink is in your pen, which is great for people who forget and, you know, 
I don't know what you're talking about. I always remember what ink is in my pen. For those of us who ink up 50 (laughs) pens at a time and need to remember, I just thought this was a nice little touch that shows they have the end user in mind. Absolutely. This I've never seen anything uh, like this. I think this is unique to Sailor, but uh, the thing I will say is they don't have the stickers separately, so you do have to kind of commit that ink to that converter. And you only have four stickers, so there you go. Choose wisely. Now, the nice thing about having ink like this that's made from a pen company is you can pretty much bet that you're not gonna have anything that's too extreme in terms of its properties or maintenance or anything. The pigmented one is the only one where you have to pay a little closer attention. Everything else is gonna be pretty well performing and uh, not too much trouble for your pens. Now, these are in kind of like the mid to premium price range they change a little bit depending on the specific collection you're looking at. So you should look at gouletpens.com to see the specific pricing. So we've covered the whole Sailor pen and ink line, quite a bit to cover, but we really tried to make this uh, basic overview for you to understand what's going on. There are a lot more details to get into, so you can check out gouletpens.com to learn a whole lot more. We hope you're as excited as we are about this new line. If you have any questions at all, we are here to help. Um, just write them in the comments, message our team. We'll be, we'll be happy to help you. That's right. You can like, share this video with others, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and right, right on. on.